Hello everyone and welcome to the demonstration level for setting up the uh, open world spawn system in a level. Now we have the same level as the demo and the performance test. It's basically a hexagon city with a uh, friendly base here at the start. Now to start off we're going to go to spawn system, blueprints, spawn system and we're going to drag in a spawn manager. This is basically just to really help you with visualizing can uh, disable all spawn area visualization in the level in case you're just working on the level and you don't want to look at it but it can also enable it in game it's very very basic stuff but it's nice that it uh, does it across the board and makes it a few clicks instead of a struggle now we're going to drag in our first spawn location and this is basically going to be the entire camp it's not a big camp so we can do it in one I mean if you're in here you can always see everything anyway We'll do drag this out a bit the spawn distance basically what in what radius does the player have to be before uh, the eye actually spawns now don't worry these are not trigger boxers these are visualizers so these two spheres that you see here they will not exist in the game they are purely here to show you uh, to visualize for you what the distance is going to be in game I said no trigger boxes, so you know, no actually, no actual trigger boxes. Next, we're gonna add our roaming AI. Let's do four. No, let's do random number. Minimal, we want one. Maximum, we want six. Uh, okay. Next, let's have some stationary AI. Those are always in one place, but for those, we need some stationary points. So we're gonna add one here. Uh, boom and add one here make sure they're not under the desk else they might spawn in the ground or something it can happen that's all right okay back to here stationary loca location information stationary location this one duplicate location information that one so now we have AI spawn at each of those points and for the demo purposes we'll stick with that for now. Uh, how about the path AI? Let's do one. Location information. We need a path in our level so let's create one. I'm gonna assign auto assign numbers to them so when we drag them out it automatically forms a path for the AI to walk. Now if you really want you can have him shop here and let me make this final destination. If you really want him to look at the customer here, you can set use direction and that will spawn the arrow or visualize it for you. You can make it look that way. And we can say the minimal time you should be here is 5 seconds and the maximum amount of time you can be here is 15 seconds. And you can do this for, uh, this for each point. Uh, we're just doing it like this for now. Alright, let's make a new one. First we click update, so all the instances are updated. And we're going to make a new point. Out to assign number. So this path starts at 11. I'm going to make this red. Just to help us visualize what, what path what. And we're going to just start making a path here. Alright. Final destination. Now, what if I want to add something in the middle here? Well, there's actually a nice way to do it. You can just click plus one to all next points. What this does is it changes all the numbers of all the points after this one to be one higher. So if I'm going to click plus one and then update, you can see the disc they are now disconnected because there is no 13 because this is turned, turned into 14. So you can just drag it off and create your new 13 and then click update so everything's updated and there you go now for the AI themselves we're now gonna have to assign a path to them and the first one's gonna walk on blue and it's gonna start at 2 and the other one is going to follow the red path and start on number we don't have to set it, if you don't set it it's automatically done but I want to try if the custom numbering works because I never really tried it. 
I only set it up 14. Let's see if it starts at 14. Safe. And let's let's check it out, see if it works. So yeah, he seems to be going straight for that one. Oh. Alright, now we have the roaming AI going about. The path AI doing their thing. Uh, let's just wait a little bit until the guy turns around here. Oh yeah, I'm shopping. Oh good. Yay. Alright, uh, what this is for, I already told you, but here let's visualize it. Uh, you can see all these things related to the spawn system and it's disabling everything so it's as, that, as easy as that. Now if you want to see it in game, you can also enable that there. Now when we run outside, you can see the blue sphere, you can see the paths and how accurately they follow them, or maybe not accurately enough. And then you can make some changes to it or change to your nav mesh. State, it's not a spline really. Uh, it's purely a, a visualizer, so it's possible that they will they will walk differently. But yeah, there you go. Uh, zombie AI, because it's zombie AI, it's actually pretty simple. So I'm just gonna do two. At two spawn locations, one here, spawn radius like this, spawn distance like this, and these are enemies, these are roamers. And there's going to be a number between 20 and 80. And we're going to oh, maybe make the spawn a bit bigger so they have enough room to spawn. And maybe add another one over here. Here. And make this a bit bigger. Yep, that's fine. And then we come outside. And we walk to the left. We go around the corner, there's some AI there. And they're angry. But yeah, there you go, that's how simple it is. Um, for more of a breakdown on the package itself, you can go to the, the, the walkthrough, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna call that video yet, but that video and for a performance comparison, so regular having regularly your AI in the level and spawning them in with the system, there's a performance comparison video which you can click probably somewhere on the screen if they still do that stuff. Otherwise, um, it will be in the playlist, I guess, or on my channel. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or go to timfancon.com and there's a contact me button there where you can send me an email and we can get in touch. Alright, thanks for watching.